how do you tell a cutlass from a 442? Well, the 442's got recessed, blackened grill. The cutlass grill protruded slightly from the surrounding frame and the 442 had a recessed grill. This is a 70 W30 cutlass and it's restored to perfection. Perfection! Proper sheen on the exhaust manifolds. Everything is done perfectly. Factory tags, alignment tag, properly done, proper clamps, proper size, proper clamps. I've seen some where the tower bolt is too close. This one is properly done. It's a heavy duty Delco Energizer R71S as opposed to this one with an R59 baby size for only a 396. This has got a 455 high lift cam and surprisingly it has power disc brakes. I didn't think you can get power brakes with W30. Very interesting. Four speed transmission. No automatic dual gate. That's why it's got a milder cam which allowed for the use of power brakes. Four spoke steering wheel, AM FM. Tick tock tack. Tachometer surrounding the clock. It's a beautiful car with the Absolutely meticulous restoration nut and bolt and it's so precise that even the windshield goopy has not protruded from the windshield when they squeeze the windshield in sometimes you'll see the bead of butyl rubber squeeze up and that's not the way GM ever did it As a matter of fact there's even had a little bit of cloth wrapped around it to contain it it's got the window sticker sold new in Pennsylvania it's got lots of options floor mat seat belts hood lock which is a rarely seen option on the cutlass Deluxe seat belts, anti-spin rear axle, power steering, available ratio, windshield soft ray, wheel super stock one, custom sports steering wheel, AM FM stereo phonic push button, stereo tape player, molding, chrome seat belts, deluxe front and rear, shoulder belts, force air, special body side pane, visor valve. Wow, G70 14 wide ovals. Could have used some F6015s. And this is a meticulous, meticulous restoration to the nth detail. Even the chalk marks on the frame. The man took this car apart, labeled each and every bolt, replated them in the proper finish. Even the spot welds are visible where the quarter panel is attached here behind the bumper. Meticulous restoration. Nothing was missed. Nothing! Because if he missed it, he went back and he undid it and he put it back to perfect. Now this one only took four years. It usually takes like 13. Uh-huh. Getting critical on the man, huh? He'll make you drive a Kia. Okay, a little quicker now, yeah. You know, he's getting good at it. Experience is a good teacher. If you live to be 120, you'd know it all. But Trumpet exhaust with every proper fastener, the proper overspray revealed when the undercoating was removed just like Oldsmobile built it in 1970. Proper clamps, proper rivet, proper rubber, proper bolts, proper finish. Unbelievable reflective finish. Even the spot welds are still visible, not covered over with Bondo that a lot of guys do unintentionally. Beautiful car to start with and an even more beautiful car right now. Pages and pages and pages of every detail. No detail. Testing the temperature sender in a stainless steel pot over a gas burner. Testing the temperature sender. Attention to detail. Wheel cylinder part numbers, brake calipers, painting the ram air, air cleaner, the fan, calipers, doors, quarter panels, welds, resistance welder dent puller. This is how we reattach quarter panels just like GM did it on the factory assembly line back in the late 60s and mid 70s. Quarter panel's not perfect, we buy a brand new one and we put it back on exactly the way GM did it on the assembly line. Take that quarter panel off and we'll fix that baby up. Because there's nothing in my book but perfection. Proper chalk marks on the inside of the wheel imitated when the wheel was restored. In the paint booth, everything gets painted the same day, so the same temperature. 
proper overspray in the trunk, and then Zolo Tone. You do it fast so it splashes. Getting that red overspray is tough. Chalk marks on the frame, exhaust system, proper stripe on the drive shaft, proper tag on the rear anti sway bar. We don't miss any details. Steering, steering column stickers, ignition switch numbers, heater cord date code 71D. Nothing gets missed. We're a perfectionist and our car is perfect and I inspected it and <laughs> Corvair Wild gives it his seal of approval. It's perfect. Yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> wow. Just like GM would have built it in Lansing, Michigan in 1971, Firestone Wide Ovals. Assembled from scratch. Proper paint mark on the emergency brake retainer clip. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 1970 old. W30. Or is it a 71? Hang on a second. 71. I've been calling it a 70. The heater cord date code was a 71. 71 W30.